What up, what up? I'm Josh Moody. Welcome to Strangle School. I got my buddy Mike here. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a mounted triangle without rolling to your back. If things go wrong, you can always roll to your back and finish your traditional front triangle, but I like to sit on deep, so I'm going to stay there. So, we get to the mount, my knees are tight on his ribs, my feet are touching behind his butt. You see he's got his hands in front to protect himself, he's going to try and use his elbows to protect from strikes, he's trying to use his hands to prevent me from getting to his head, all sorts of bad news. I am going to dominate the inside space. My hands are going to go to his chest and I'm going to slide right under his wrist to the floor. I'm going to drive my elbow backwards and I'm going to capture his wrist with my armpit. I'll grab his, his elbow for a second I'm going to slide one knee forward. I'm going to reach down and I'm going to grab his head. I'm going to connect my elbow to my knee and that's how I'm going to secure this grip. Okay? If I'm too wide, his arm will slide right back in that hole and I'm going to lose this position. So I keep all this nice and tight. I'm going to grab his other wrist and I'm going to start to push it away, not into his chest. I'm pushing it straight away. It's a weird angle for him to defend against. Once it's extended, I'm going to lean my weight on it. Okay? I am going to slot, I'm going to lean my head forward to take my weight off of my right leg. Okay? My weight goes on that left leg. I'm going to step up and put my leg all the way over that arm. Sometimes that doesn't happen all at once. Sometimes, if you don't have that dexterity, you'll get on this foot and you'll start to like walk your foot over the top of his arm. That's cool too. I'm going to keep walking until my ankle hits his neck. Now I'm going to drive through until my knee hits the floor. Super important. Don't try and finish your triangle right here. I want my knee and ankle flat to the floor. Now you see back here, my knee is touching the back of my heel, as opposed to the front of my heel. My knee is touching my heel. I'm going to hop my knee over my ankle, and now I am straddling my own heel. Okay, my ankle's on one side, my knee's on the other side. This arm is going to get in your way. You can try and arm bar it, but people just turn their thumbs down and it's hard to finish that one. Okay, so what I do is I hip in and I let that arm pop out. Right here is a great time to arm arm. I'm going to rotate his thumb away so his palm is facing away from my chest. I'm going to rotate his palm away from my chest. Okay, this is a front arm bar, not a side arm bar. From your side, from the side, I want his thumb facing away from my chest. But right now, he's going to be able to drive his elbow into my pocket, and it's going to be hard for me to fight that. When I rotate his palm away from my chest, I put the back of his hand on my chest, it's damn near impossible for him to bend his elbow. Okay? I pull in, I hip in, and there's your first mounted arm bar, your first attack from your mounted triangle series. Okay? I'll do the whole setup here. He's defending the inside space. I'm going to put my hand on his chest, slide inside. And once my elbow gets past his wrist, I'm going to pass his wrist up to my armpit. I'm going to slide my knee up on the same side. I'll pick his head up, and I grab his far ear. I'm trying to rotate his head, and I'm going to lean heavy on that side that I'm controlling. I will extend my arm and start to lean my weight on it until his wrist hits the floor. I'm going to swing this leg around, okay, but not super wide. I'm going to bring this leg around and I'm going to step over his shoulder. If you have to walk your foot that whole distance, do it. Not everybody has the dexterity to go all in one. Okay? You can actually make a pit stop right here too, where it's hard for him to do anything. But I have to switch my hands, otherwise I'm going to get rolled this direction. Okay? So if you stand on his thigh, on his bicep, great. But make sure you switch your hands. 
Now I can switch back when I pass the rest of the way around. I drive my knee to the floor. My, my knee, my left knee goes behind my right heel. This is what's going to be initially secure this position. Okay? I need to make sure there's no space there where he can drive his elbow to the floor and now I've lost the ability to try and win. I secure that space. Now if he drives his elbow to the floor, he's, not, he's still not going to get out. Okay? I can still scoop that up and keep that across. I hop my knee over my shin. For your arm bar, look, I'll collect his wrist and I'll rotate so the back of his hand is on my chest. Palms facing out. I pull and hip in and there's your arm bar. Moving on to the triangle, I'll put my hands on the floor and I will walk, 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 walk to 90 degrees. Now my legs are facing the same direction. I'm going to keep my strangled knee and my support toes on the floor as I lift my strangled toes and my support knee. Locking a figure four and putting my leg back down. I'm going to keep walking and hook one of his legs as I squeeze for the finish of your mounted triangle. I'm going to give him a second to breathe. My knee is behind my heel, okay? I hop my knee over to secure this position. I've got weight on both sides there. I put my hands on the ground and I start to walk, 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 okay? If his hand is under your armpit still, it's going to be hard for you to get that angle. I let his arm go. Walk, 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 all the way until you can drop that leg uh, from your triangle to both legs facing the same direction. My right knee stays on the floor, my left toe stays on the floor. I put my weight on my hands and I elevate my right ankle to put it behind my left knee. I sit back down. And now I can make this submission way tighter if I tuck his elbow into my pocket and I turn. I can lift up his head and that'll help. Or I can come back and get a hold of either one of his legs and start to bend it in half. And that makes it much tighter as well. Thanks for dropping by Strangle School. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This time and every time, thank you for being here.